Hey folks, how you doing today? I was just remembering a story that happened, something that happened to me when I was, I'm thinking about 28 years old. <clears throat> I was working at a bookstore, a used bookstore, um, and I'd been shipped off to uh, a warehouse where I was going to uh, organize the warehouse and set it up and, and la di da and it was rather tedious. I had a couple of staff members and I think if I remember at the time the staff members that were there um, they were uh, uh, involved in packing up books for other uh, stores that we were planning to open or something like that. Anyway, regardless we were stuck in this warehouse and this is a time, I don't know if you remember this but it's it's still ongoing actually but here in uh, Canada uh, there's uh, been these issues about stopping uh, postal workers from delivering the mail to your home uh, in places where it's far away from the post office, uh, you know, the countryside and things like that. And, and, and they're getting that distance shorter and shorter. And we were in Ottawa, you know, and there was a... Uh, we weren't out of Ottawa. We were on the outskirts, certainly, but we there were uh, houses, uh, house developments all around us. Anyways, uh, you know, they had decided that instead of delivering the mail to the individual place, they built some type of a device out on the street, on the side of a sidewalk somewhere, and everybody wanted their mail would go there, so that they, um, so the post worker could uh, go to the back of it and fill it up in just one spot and do this much quicker. Okay, so the thing for me is, it, it, I was irked by that decision a little bit, uh, and it just so happened that the location that they chose to put these boxes, these units, was literally about 15 feet from my door. So, it irritated me that the post office worker would not come to my door anymore, and... I don't know, but it developed into this weird story, which is what this video is about. Because I, I, I'll be the first to admit <clears throat> that I'm an irritating fellow at times, and that this was probably all of my making, but the story itself is hilarious. Anyway, so uh, they wanted you, they sent us a little uh, information thing, and they said we have to uh, put a padlock on the... Uh, uh, the little mailbox that we've got there. And I never put one on there because quite frankly it was a warehouse. I had set up the warehouse and I had set up that every single bill we had would be sent to head office. There was no mail that was coming to that warehouse because it wasn't manned all the time. So there was no reason to have mail delivered to it because it, would, it might get stay there for, for months. So I never put a, a, a padlock on the thing. I never did. So uh, one day, the the postal worker guy comes in. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Mr. Post Office. Anyways, Mr. Post Office comes in, and he says, "Hey," he says, "I gotta tell you." He says, "You gotta put a padlock on your your little mailbox there." He says, "Because I've got some mail for you." And and in my mind, you know, as soon as he says that, all I can picture are junk mail. It's just junk mail. I can just picture, you know, that he's got these ads that he's got to deliver to all of the people and suka chuka 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 and mine, he, he can't because I'm not opening it up to, to take stuff out. So I said to him, well, you know, like I explained to you guys, I, I mean, I said, I don't, I don't have any reason to put a padlock on there because I don't get any mail here. And he says, well, I get some mail here, Mr. Post Office, what it says. And, and, and he says, and it's important, so I have to deliver it. <clears throat> so, okay, he leaves, and I'm standing there by the counter, the other two, the staff are there, you know, and I'm just leaning on the counter like this, standing, and I don't know, but my, my eye just drops down, and I'm looking at a coat hanger, and those, you know, those plastic coat hangers. You know, you get them at a dollar store and three for a buck or something like that. And they're sort of like made of a plastic, a fairly thick, the size of a pencil almost, you know. But, it, you know, there's different colors. You got white, brown, black. Anyways, the one I had was brown. And it was just sitting there. It was a brown. 
And it just happened, I just looked in the top of the, the handle of the coat hanger. It just, it just struck me, gee, I said, that's about the same shape as a padlock. I don't know how it got that idea, but I just noticed that, and it hit me right away that I could build out of cardboard a little box, just a little box, you know, we had some cardboard lying around, and uh, I could I could take this this top of the, the coat hanger, just break it off, and then have a, a piece that essentially went like this. So I could put a little hole in the thing, and I could put it together, and it would look like a padlock. So I spent a few minutes, maybe an hour, <laughs> hour and a half anyway uh building this little box and I, I was meticulous with it you know but it it was a little hard to get the the the, the lines completely straight it was a little wonky but it did look like the padlock sized and i'd markered it black and then i put some tape over it to hold it together so in my mind from a distance it it looked like a padlock so i went out there and i put i put the lock on right the, the lock the, the, the fake lock. So I put it on and pushed the box up and just left it there. And it looked fine. It looked like a, a lock. It, you know, if you didn't go up there and manhandle that thing. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. But it, anyway, so it worked great. He started putting mail into it for two days. <laughs> two days. And then it rained. <laughs> I hadn't thought about raining cardboard. And cardboard tends to get sort of soppy when you rain on it. Even if it's coated with tape, humidity will get in, the little drips on the side, whatever. Anyway, it got a bit soggy. And so it hung down, you know, it hung down on, on, the, uh, on the, the, pad, the, the coat hanger and the top part. It was hanging. And he must have thought, Mr. Post Office uh, must have thought, oh, he forgot to lock his padlock, you know, let me do it for him. And he must have... Just gone like this, and then you would have discovered that the padlock was nothing else but a little box of cardboard. And so I wasn't there that day, but my two staff guys were there, and he, they tell me he came in and he had this little <laughs> fake padlock, you know, and he slammed it on the counter, you know. He went, Mail is not a joke! And, anyways, so I found, I, I laughed my guts out when I found out about that. Uh, but then it, the story doesn't finish there, <coughs> because my point was, God damn it, you could just bring it here. You know, he's come here to see me, you know, five, six times uh, to tell me about, oh, you've got to put a padlock there, and, you, and this is not funny, and all those things, you know. Why didn't you bring the mail while you were doing that? You know, you weren't coming anyway. You know, like, it was just this point in my mind, I want to I wanna make him deliver the mail, you know. The bill that I don't need. Anyway, so I remembered at that point, hey, wait a minute. When I was in high school, I had a padlock on my uh, locker. I wonder if I still have that thing. And the answer was, yes, I did. I found it somewhere in my piles of junk, in my garage, I think. And uh, it still even had the tag. Do you remember the tag that came with that? You know, the little orange thing, and it had the numbers written in from the school, and you put it on the padlock like that. And I remember this padlock story too. When I was, uh, you know, in the uh, in this high school, I, I was stuck there um, because the padlock. Somebody had tried to break it open, and it stuck some pins in there, and the padlock just wouldn't tick tick tick. I couldn't open it anymore. It was stuck, you know. And I remember I got the janitor to come, and he had to use the big pincers. First time I saw him, you know, the big the big, and he goes bang, you know. And I remember I was crying, uh, you know, a little kid, you know, I was crying about, what am I going to do, mommy? You know, anyway, a uh, little side story there on padlocks. But anyway, the padlock that I had was from the high school, and I put it on there, and I clicked it, and I walked away, went back into my store, or my warehouse, and never went back. That was my game. I would never open open that lock again and in fact I think I just threw away the combo uh, I just combination was gone I mean with my, my mind that was a dead lock I was never going to use it again and I just forgot about it <laughs> and then one day one day you know because you got a picture of this poor man Mr. Post Office and he's he, he's in the back right and he's got these slots right right he's he's putting his stuff in you know 
like this, and my slot, all this time, all these months, right, would have been going way, 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 way at him, you know, because it would be completely stuffed with things, you know, and every week, every day, he'd have one more piece of garbage advertising to, to shove in there, and the box would get fuller and fuller, and, you know, he, he'd have to squeeze stuff in there, you know, and, you know, there'd be less and less space, you know, and every, every time he'd come there, every single day, that mailbox would be, yeah, yeah, calling at him, you know, like, God damn bastard, what the freak is wrong with him when he's not opening the mailbox, you know, what, 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 you know, like, and, uh, anyways, but I knew none of that, right, I was peaceful in my warehouse working with the books, and then one day this guy walks in, Mr. Post Office walks in, with a stack of mail, you know, and he, he slams it on, your, on the counter and he goes, there's your goddamn mail! Anyway, and that's the end of that story. So I hope you enjoyed that little memory. This is absolutely real. This is what happened. This is what I did. Yes, I was a pest. I must have irritated all sorts of people looking back, but it sure gives me some funny memories. Uh, poor Mr. Paul, post Office Worker, uh, you know, I, I'm sorry, sir, because I'm sure I tortured you, and it was admittedly done intentionally, but uh, nonetheless, it wasn't done with any personal intent to bother. It was because of my irritation of the, about the post office. Anyways, that's it for today. Folks, uh, touch in again with me if you want to hear some more of these ridiculous stories.